I just think when I was young, I didn't have so much responsibility. I wasn't, I didn't feel that I had so much going on. Yes. I just seemed to go just with life. I just seemed to go with life, no responsibilities, just go along, have some fun, go and play a bit of football, you know, just do that. But as I then progressed, my life just filled up with bills to pay, uh, children to look after. Uh, so I think the responsibilities build up. So for me, I think, because yeah, I, I agree with you. When, when I, I remember, I don't know about back in the time, but I remember we used to collect Dairy Lee uh, boxes and in this Dairy Lee, there's this offer. And the offer was, uh, this is before the internet, by the way. That's how old I am. Um, it's when they had stone tablets and prehistoric things. We'd chip away, you know, it's all that. Like Fred, Fred Barney and Flintstones, we can remember that prehistoric, prehistoric show. And we get the, we collect these lids, like you collect these lids, and uh, and you had to send it off. And it said, by the time you send it off and send your 50p or whatever it was, I think it was even cheaper now. I don't know if you paid anything. I can't remember. Was but it you, not it like took two, 28 days. Two guineas 28 in days crown. to deliver you. What? Two guineas in the crown. Oh, I can't remember that. But yeah, that's very old money. <laughs> Uh, I know I know the joke you're trying to make there. It's good. Um, but I'm just going to go <laughs> past that for a Shut down there. Shut down. <laughs> Where was I? I've, you're totally true what I've trained the thought now. You sent, off um, your, you sent off your leads. Oh, you sent it off. Yeah, that's it. And it's 28 days for delivery. And 28 days felt like an eternity. Like to come through your door, watching that door, to wait for my free gift to come through. It's like silly putty, which was brilliant. It was like silly putty coming in. You bounce it about. You do something. But it, and it glue in the dark, glowed in the dark, so it was just brilliant. It was brilliant. It's it brilliant. They want me a bit of a silly putty. If you do, just a little shout out. But if you do, and my sister remembers that as well. But that's through the concept. I was just waiting for that. But I, for me, I think the reason it goes so quickly, just to go back to that concept, is because I didn't have that. I didn't have some things pressing on my time. And also, now I've got to this stage in my life, I've got this real mission that I'm on. I feel like I'm running out of time because there is so much going on, which I don't mind, actually. I like it, but I want to try and, I want to try and enjoy the moments. You know what like we talked about before, like in that meditative in the, in the moment? I think it's even more important now than ever. And I think also technology with your phones and everything's quicker. And I think it's um, just there's so much to get involved with that you just, you, you just time, just the corny context, it flies because there's just so much gone. Now, I suspect for younger people, it might be the same now because they've got things like Facebook, Twitter, Internet, and you can just spend like two hours of time on, on YouTube and you won't even recognize it two years' time. It's like, it's like when you used to play computer games, Lee, right? You, you spend, you think, I'm going to spend half an hour. You spend up doing four hours. And you think, where did four hours go? It's a bit like that. You, you, you can find things. If you're that, occupied. That just, you just, think, yeah. it just disappears. I think now more than ever, I think it's moving. But I'd love to know, actually, if we had someone who's 18 right now in here, and maybe Ryan would probably give us a good view on that as to how he perceives time or even younger 18 how do you perceive time is it quick is it slow it'd be really interesting to know wouldn't it but uh, that's my view anyway